in the previous part we crimped uh, this kind of uh, big and fat uh, cable locks with tools like that made in german clauke or uh, this one chinese one they are from um, gauge 10 or six millimeters up to well 35 uh, or 50 millimeters gauge 4 something like that yeah and today we are discussing uh, crimping of some small stuff so small terminals with shrinking tubes without them so the tools for this uh, crimping are pretty similar it's a kind of that tool with red uh, um, blue and yellow uh, they usually look like that here is another tool and that's the set with this um, uh, insert let's say and the basic tool is that kind of tool however uh, sometimes it's not the basic but your main we will see it soon i had the different chinese option with quite thin metal here well i don't even want to bother you with showing it in the previous part we dedicated a lot to the uh, time to the rule that you should crimp cable locks with the tool of the same manufacturer so the locks and the tool should be from the same manufacturer it was proved a lot in the previous part and uh, here all the same you will see uh, what will be discussed we will discuss crimping of small quick disconnect terminals let's call them terminals uh, what is the right one the right one is from the brand so forget about chinese options on ebay amazon aliexpress uh, you will have a lot of problems just believe me i crimp it a lot so it's total junk if it's not brand brands from te from molex that you can easy buy from mauser they will be correct you can find some in the local shops for example like i found from this swedish manufacturer here locally in finland and one of the indirect indication of a good terminal of course chinese can also put uh, this mark but you will list it uh, UL listed it means that it was checked by UL really checked uh, and usually it means everything is correct everything is fine and you can use these terminals usually right terminals have very hard plastic if you use Chinese and crimp them uh, it's soft uh, material is thin uh, both plastic and uh, metal so you will not have parameters that you expect to have and I think I didn't told you that we are in the marine industry so we are talking about solution for marine uh, and we uh, need to use really quality product and the first terminal I will crimp will be this one yeah I will use gauge uh, uh, 16 cable I will use this uh, tool it's like the second level let's say by the way this brand we've we've been using in the first part for crimping uh, bigger cable locks so i will use that one yeah then i will describe where you should use this one yep Uh, well guys now let's uh, take a look closely to this part yeah so uh, when you're crimping with the right tool yeah the structure of this tool suppose that you're crimping not only the cable there you have seen I stripped not stripped but cut extra stripping because uh, the plastic insulation um, should uh, end on the metal part of the terminal because it crimping it do crimping not only for the metal but for the plastic also why this is the strain relief for the cable 
so this is the right crimping if you move the cable here you you don't uh, make stress for the uh, crimped uh, wire because it holds it so it's a strain relief you cannot do that crimping with that kind of tool because you only uh, press it here and you don't create any strain, strain relief um, well guys uh, wh which one to use I found that they pretty similar but it's all about settings uh, how strong you want to crimp them that's why I have several because it's quite difficult to modify these settings uh, all the time so and guys uh, yeah so if you use this Chinese tool uh, and you try to crimp uh, for example uh, a good connector yellow one that what happens the cable will go off the right cable of course right diameter but even when you uh, try to crimp uh, their somalin uh, insulated stuff you have the same problem yeah so uh, it's about the tool and terminals should be from the same manufacturer but in case of china it doesn't work anyway and that's why let's consider this one from te yeah it is that one the brand terminal that you can find on different kind of brand electronics like from blue sea systems they supply it for example here and take a look about two cables yeah so you can only crimp it correctly with that tool why uh, because they have this big plastic here why do they have is it marketing no you have seen two wires you may combine even three or more and you need this space for insulation so you have special terminal for this and that's good however if you try to crimp it on that tool yeah and you try to fit it where is yellow here yeah you can't you can't yeah no matter which one and i don't want to buy for three to seven hundred uh, dollars uh, te tool that's why that's then where you need to use the basic tool that one also a kind of good one uh, not just thin tiny junk and you crimp it here and that's what we will do now that's the only option if you don't have good tool but anyway as you have seen you don't crimp in that case you don't crimp that part yeah So, with the force of your hand, you just crimp it, and the quality plastic doesn't allow to break it, yeah. You can see you crimping the metal, and there you can observe that kind of the right crimping that you cannot do with flat pliers, for example. Look, you have uh, two gauge 16 cables, 1.5, yeah so and you want to combine them obviously you can't use uh, the red one yeah but for the blue one for example i have this from uh, uh, te which says 1614 uh, it has enough room that room for insulation of two cables but look at the hole yeah and compare for example with the swedish one i have here yeah so but here is no room for two insulated cables and uh, yeah that's taken into consideration probably another model will have it i will research but now i will try to crimp it with the yellow one there is especially a lot of room but then i'm concerned about how well it will hold it let's see Uh, 
I cannot see anything through this. I don't believe it is a good quality, but I cannot take them off. So let's decide that this can be used, but I have to research some other options. For example, here I see some different types of connectors terminals yeah with the same principle okay but let's think that uh, this is okay and here is the special uh, situation you can see I bend it this way because uh, there is a wall I don't have enough room and so here I will apply angled terminal with 90 degree. Yeah, made in China. Unfortunately, I didn't find any other brands. So, and uh, here you have to use a special tool. The only way to crimp them on a special tool. I haven't found uh, with the yellow one. Uh, so, but if I understood correctly, for the yellow one, you remove the insulation and uh, do crimping of the metal bare part only so uh, maybe that i don't know i will either use red or, or blue now and let's see how it goes so guys here i crimp it and now one more time with you with less mistakes first you put shrinking tube because you cannot put it later and if you use a bigger diameter uh, it won't shrink on this small cable so first we put the tube i will explain soon why so and it doesn't fit to the red one because it's tinted yeah so it doesn't fit here well this this time it fits come on come on Let me check it first. Yeah, another end didn't fit, but this one is okay. So, well, then I show you on the red one, but it's similar. Uh, I have changed on the tool, this, I put it here, yeah, instead of this. And now we place it, so it should lay here, this way. Mm. And, 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 you will be crimping both metal and strain relief for the cable. Mm. Let me show you this way. Yeah. Fully done. And you haven't damaged the insulation because it has room for this. And now, yeah, so you crimp it on the metal part and also a kind of strain relief for the cable that didn't work well on this cable diameter as well as on the blue one and that's why we have shrinking tube here because it can also serve as strain relief i have a video about shrinking tubes two parts unfortunately with that bad english a lot of material to listen I think it, it is not oil for your ears but if you want to get some useful information you can still watch these two parts there is everything about small and big shrinking tubes and here I continue to use Chinese options yeah So this will be a strain relief also for the cable, as well as uh, with this glue protection against moisture. Sorry for this focus, it's crazy. I cut it away, a mistake, I don't need angle it from, from both sides and because uh, red was fit here, so I cut it here and we later can watch uh, we cut and watch 
how good is crimping inside. So that's the way I cut it and it looks like the cable is here quite well crimped. Let's now take take it out and let's see. Well, I removed this way. You can see the cable crimped here. For some reason no cable there. I don't know, maybe it wasn't too short. I think the crimping is for the small area. Probably another tool will do better, but anyway, you got the idea. Yep, how it works. And that's enough. Now, I promised to show you about the yellow one, yeah, so it's removable plastic shell. I guess it's supposed that you crimp it on, on the blue one. And then put... Well, I don't care, I don't need it. So here I fitted a gauge. 12 and gauge 14 both together and they crimp it with the basic tool again uh, quite well i already have tried so if you want to fit gauge 10 with something like here gauge 10 you can't because this kind of quick disconnect terminals they are gauge 10 insulated uh, this type uh, maximum so you have to apply another solution. Two gauge twelve maybe will be the problem. I didn't try yet. I didn't need it yet. Now I will crimp this one. So these are from my T and that one from the local Abico manufacturer. And uh, I want to compare if uh, with this tool if the strain relief will be created for the cable here in the same way like for the red one. Let's take a look. So, uh, it, it is making strain relief, but it doesn't work in that case. The cable is loose. Uh, why? Well, uh, because this uh, terminal is designed for specific purpose, for specific cable di insulation diameter, probably the big one. Yeah, so as an example. Yeah, but otherwise it's like quite okay, quite well. And you can see it's crimping in the same style. And guys, because I decided to crimp uh, in the right way, not with the basic tool, but with that one, that kind of tool and actually uh, this time was SV SW Stachel Stahl I don't know how to pronounce this with the insulated terminal insert so I decided to crimp this way that's why I bought uh, another part number this one from Molex in, uh, instead of uh, that one that is not possible to crimp on that tool so, and I will show you now the crimping of this. There are a few other options, awesome options, uh, but let's talk about them later. So, and guys, now you can see that the strain relief in that case for the cable created because it's also press here. Actually, I see in not the best strain relief. Not uh, probably this plastic is not from the best one option uh, that doesn't keep, doesn't hold its position after crimping, after jamming. Let's call it this way. But this uh, 
this place is crimped now correctly. Anyway, a kind of strain relief is created here, I hope. Maybe not. Well, okay. What if you need to combine gauge 10 with uh, something else to the same circuit? Well, the 10 is the maximum for these types of uh, quick disconnector, so that's the only option. And the next option will be to use piggy back quick disconnectors. So now uh, I have uh, a small project. Well, the project is huge, but I have needs to make this piggy back there in the board. So I will include this part now. And you will understand what I mean. It's my life and it's now or never. So, you have seen, uh, yeah, uh, the process and um, that's the solution. Piggyback, yeah, it calls piggyback in case if the cable is already the maximum that can be accepted by one uh, quick disconnect terminal. In that case, gauge 10 is the maximum for this kind of terminal. So, you, you take piggyback and if another circuit is uh, low power you can do this way and you have seen that it was difficult to disconnect it so i did it uh, uh, without disconnection and that's about toughness of the connection with brand terminals if you use chinese junk yeah vibration and it's disconnected but here even if you try by hand you cannot do this because the material is thick and yeah, it's like a kind of spring cushioning, is it the right word? I don't know, I sometimes invent words in English. So, um, yeah, or if you use, uh, you can see it's like even double layer there. So, uh, if you use uh, brand uh, terminals, but Chinese switches with Chinese tabs on the opposite side, then you also can, uh, then they also can disconnect. Uh, I didn't, um, I haven't decided which is the best for this uh, tough connection, but it looks like um, Abico made in Sweden. They are the best in this uh, uh, for tough connection in comparison, for example, Molex. Well, Molex is kind of China too. Yeah, okay, but you got the point.
Here I uh, used this awesome, really awesome uh, terminal Müller made in USA. Well, uh, uh, I didn't even uh, put the label there to show you uh, how good it is. This uh, shrinking tube is fat with a lot of glue. It's transparent. You can see the result. When you crimp it, you don't crimp it over the tube like in this Chinese junk. Yeah, it is Chinese junk. When you crimp, crimp, you crimp on the tube, you damage the tube. Also, when you're shrinking here, you're shrinking the tube uh, with all glue inside. So, with unpredictable result, this is really junk. Useless, nice looking but useless um, set that I bought and I was uh, regret I, that probably no other solutions exist but then I found this made in, in the US Müller, uh, Müller solution and when you need to make it quick uh, with, without extra shrinking tube that's really nice solution for different uh, diameters now quite an opposite, really thin cable. So the cable is gauge 20, as you have seen. Well, uh, the range for this one is actually 0 0.5 to 1.5 or 20 to 16, so it fits. How good will be crimping? I will now include inspection video under the microscope. Uh, this one with this thin cable and also with thick cable and there will be also Chinese uh, um, connection with shrinking tube. Uh, know what's there, I will comment later. As you have seen, if you use the right tool, then it will do right crimping. The cable is not hold, strain relief is not created, of course. In that case, it's very important to use shrinking tube that will serve as a strain relief. Or, actually, guys, I don't use that anymore. I found a really awesome uh, terminal with shrinking tube on it really awesome and uh, there will be the link in the description uh, about this one
So I think uh, these terminals are covered, more or less. Uh, well, I th I decided that about these uh, terminals, these ring terminals, I will do a separate video. Uh, the tools are similar, but some tools are different. So let it be in another video. Subscribe if not yet to see it. Uh, by the way, I think I have a small video about them. If I do, I will include the link in the description below. I'm not sure that it is in English, but probably you are lucky not to listen that English. I don't even know. Nobody tell me about it. So how valuable are not this kind of content for them? Guys, please leave comments if you uh, really found something interesting or not. So, uh, yeah, we can consider specific parts. There is some things to tell about them, but no, I, I think that's enough. Uh, I also, if you think that I don't have Chinese option, I have them a lot. Uh, they, this junk is stored here from the time when I was small and I didn't have board and I didn't know how uh, to do things correctly, including about using the correct tools. Uh, so I still have some Chinese junk since that time and uh, I don't know how to utilize it correctly. So uh, yeah, let's do some summary about uh, connectors and tools. Let's try to summarize and I'm here in the board because I have all tools here and the new project here. By the way, the new project for Deutsch connectors. If you don't know Deutsch connectors, but you are in the marine or automotive industry, you should know them. So, okay, about the tools, I think there is no fave tools uh, uh, when we speak about these ratchet types of tools, they more or less the same. Maybe I just have quality tools, I don't know. So I use four of them. Here I have three and with different now. I don't know where is the fourth uh, actually. So I use them, um, well, depending on the situation, on what kind of terminal I have. Actually, what I found, it is more important what terminal you use rather than a uh, ratchet tool you use for them. If you use a tool and terminal from the same manufacturer, you probably are good. However, not in that case. Well, when you use their terminals with shrinking tubes, it doesn't work well even with their tool. But still, I use this tool a lot. So, again, it's also about how you configure this ratchet. Uh, you may configure one uh, uh, force here and another on another tool. Yeah, so the basic tool, the basic tool is also good if it is not Chinese junk, but if it is the real tool. The thickness is uh, important. You have seen Chinese tool. Well, I didn't compare because I already uh, put it to trash. So, um, and it also important the structure of the crimping place so that you have that kind of crimping. The second hand is holding my um, phone so I cannot show you this heart. But you can like my video because I show you heart, even with one hand, half heart. Well, half like doesn't work, so please full like. Uh, well, uh, yeah. So, the most important, again, is terminal, in my experience. And guys, I hope you don't use pliers for this job, yeah? If you do, well, I don't know what to say to you. And if you have 90 degree angle, uh, then, of course, you can only crimp them with that kind of tools. Again, I don't know, does it matter what brand you will use. I think they more or less copy from each other. I think that's all and I hope you liked it. Uh, if not, why? Tell me in comments. Otherwise, like this video, subscribe to see more. Thank you. Bye.